Hey guys, this is the Great Lugia here. Welcome to Pokemon Silver Version, the go through part 55. I didn't do any healing off screen, but I did switch my first Pokemon. Now it is time for the second Elite Four member. Many of you may find very familiar. It is Koga the Ninja! And I don't know why he keeps going fwa ha 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 in all the games. It's not like he's evil. Well, actually, I remember hearing somewhere that in the manga he is evil, or he was like a member of Team Rocket or something. I don't know. So he leads off with an Ariados. I lead off with Typhlosion. Hopefully Fire, Fun Fire Punch should be a 1 KO. And it is. Very nice. I'm glad I taught Typhlosion that move. I'm guessing a lot of his Pokemon would just barely survive Flame Wheel or something stupid like that. Now, for a Fortress, I believe that's the first one we've seen. It's Bug and Steel, which makes it quad weak to fire. However, it does have very good defense. So it can be quite a wall if you don't have a fire type. So hooray, level 41. Alright, now for Muck. I think I'll go into Tauros to test out its new move. Also, something I think I keep forgetting to say is that the reason I didn't bring Lugia with me um, on routes 26 and 27 is that I needed a Pokemon with Waterfall to do it. Unfortunately, though, um, what happened is... I didn't want Lugia to learn Waterfall, but it turns out Lapras can't learn Waterfall either, so I'm not able to do that. Let's see if Return can finish it off. I hope so. And that is a very weird sound effect. Alright, nice. I guess that means my Tauros loves me. But I'm not too surprised. Alright, now for Venomoth. Just gonna go back into Typhlosion for this. These first few Elite Four members really aren't that tough. Especially if you know, um, how to do it. Or, like, if you've gone through this game, like, a million times like I have. Alright, now his final Pokemon is a Crobat. I'm going to use Ampharos for this. Hopefully Thunder Punch should be a 1 and a KO. Actually, I doubt that, but it'll definitely be a 2 and a KO. Unless, of course, he uses some annoying Hyper Potion. Alright, that's acceptable. And nice, Parahax. Oh, great. Double team. Ah. Alright, this is annoying. This is very annoying. There we go. Well, I'll just heal that poison off screen. And there is Koga defeated. Again, a very quick and pretty easy match. Hopefully the later trainers here will be a bit tougher, specifically the last two. The next one will probably be about as easy as this one was, and the will before. But still, it's nice to see Koga again, and that he's been promoted to Elite Four member. Guess that means Lorelai left, and Agatha either retired or died. But Agatha always seemed to be a bit of a jerk, in my opinion. So yeah, next time, we will fight the third Elite Four member. See you then!